Demi Lovato's ex proves exactly why he is an ex. He just commented on a photo of Demi and Jude, attacked Jude and said, let's fight. In a now deleted tweet, he says, anyway, my ring was bigger. I hope you two stay sober together. Who exactly is your publicist that you like got on the phone and said, okay, I think this is the approach that we should take. Demi Lovato's creepy stalker ex needs some serious help. And it seems like he hasn't changed after all these years. On Wednesday, December 20th, just two days after Demi Lovato and announced her new engagement with her new fiancé, Max Erich, Demi Lovato's ex-fiancé, faced heat online after it was alleged that he offered up a strong reaction to Demi Lovato's new engagement. In case you missed it, a recently created Instagram account called Max Music Erich posted pictures from Demi Lovato and Max's previous engagement right after Demi announced her new engagement over on her Instagram. About two days ago, Demi Lovato made this post on her Instagram showing that she was engaged to a Canadian musician who she'd been in a relationship with for about a year now. His name is Jordan Lutz, also known as Jutes. In about two days following Demi's announcement, this new Instagram page was made on the app and people thought it had to be Max expressing how he felt about Demi moving on the rest of her life with this new guy as he probably wouldn't have been able to on his original account with over a million followers. Now, that's not only all what made people believe that this was Max behind this account, Account, but this only made people want to believe that Max was behind this account and that he was this obsessive, creepy stalker type of ex deep down because Pop Faction reported that he had supposedly also deleted this tweet right after Demi made her new engagement announcement on her Instagram. With the tweet saying, anyway, my ring was bigger. I hope you two stay sober together. Now, if this really was him, the second half of this comment, taking a shot at Demi's sobriety is a very low move and it was really weird and uncalled for to just add that in there if that really was him, but let's just say many people have already fallen into the idea that this really is the type of ex Max is, who just won't leave Demi alone to thrive, to move on, and be happy, especially given his history and we can't forget about his incessant obsessive comments towards Selena Gomez standing on the edge of his life just a couple of years ago trying to make her his own. There's this notion that Max has always tried to thrive off of women like like Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez for their fame or to boost his career, which we'll be getting into later on. But Max ended up reaching out to Pop Factions after many people saw this tweet and he pretty much said that it wasn't a real tweet and that it wasn't him, but people were just not buying into it, you guys. He always does this, posts something, deletes it, and then pretends he was hacked or says it's fake. He's so manipulative. He's a liar because those comments are real. Not only is he bitter, and pathetic, but a coward as well. LOL, he's such a compulsive liar, he always does this. Now, the page who many believe to be Max was spamming photos of Max and Demi together from a couple of years ago and captioning their posts, I don't regret anything I did. I did everything for love, but unfortunately, I was prevented from talking to Demetria, especially prevented by you at Max Leah, who is Demi Lovato's bodyguard. You're the reason she won't marry the love of her life, who has always been me. Now, she will be unhappy for the rest of her life, and it's your fault. Anyway, love you forever, at Demi Lovato. Then the account posted this photo, which was Max crying with the heartbreak emoji, and then it says, I know we will meet again in another life. The timing of this was just so strange, and people just wouldn't think that someone would actually go out of their way to make an Instagram account just days after Demi Lovato announced her engagement, and have it not be Max himself. And all over the comments under these posts, people were just calling Max out, saying things like get a job, stay away from her, that he's deranged, that he needs therapy, and all these different things. And another reason people were keen on believing that this account was actually being run by Max, as if his deranged obsessive behavior towards Demi in the past wasn't enough. Well, in one of the posts made on this Instagram account was a cover of Max and Demi that no one has ever really seen on social media. It was more of an intimate voice recording of them singing to each other, and this is what led people to believe believe that this really could be Max behind the account because people in the comments were just like, who else in all honesty would have had this intimate moment where they were singing to each other other than Max and publicize it on social media just days after Demi Lovato announced her new engagement. Now let's go through his stories. He writes, at Jutes Music, I gave her a ring. A ring she doesn't deserve this pear shit. He keeps making fun of this gorgeous pear-shaped ring. Like, gorgeous. 
He then posts this, which looks like a message thread between him and Demi Lovato. A few days ago, there were tweets of Max saying that his ring was bigger and better, and it looks like he is telling Demi that it's fake. And then Demi responds, anyway, everything in Jordan is bigger, and I'm not talking about the ring. Please leave us alone. And he says, I'll be a fool to give up on you. And then on top here in his story, he says, I will fight for you, Demi Lovato. I miss singing with you, Demi Lovato. I will release my first album next year and I will include this song, but unfortunately it will not be released originally featuring Demi. But until then, we will come back and we will release this song together. Thank you. I really hope this is not just like PR for a new album because this is just gonna get him like behind bars. But this is where things take an awkward turn, you guys. Because as Max was getting called out all over social media for what many thought was his psychotic behavior and letting out his frustrations on Instagram posts, for Demi being in a new relationship, he made this post on his original account denying that it was him behind the account, which was interesting. He said, I'm aware of the fake pages that were created to post fabricated and cruel messages about a truly joyful occasion in Demi's life, a moment that should only be celebrated. That chapter of our shared lives was closed peacefully and privately a long time ago. I only want the best for everyone and from the bottom of my heart, I truly wish them a lifetime of peace and happiness. Happiness. I ask respectfully to be removed from this narrative and for the fake accounts and posts to cease having any relevance. Thank you and God bless. For those who don't know, Max and Demi had got engaged in 2020 and Demi Lovato herself broke off the engagement just a few months afterwards. After several outlets claimed that a source close to her claimed that it was very hurtful to Demi when she realized that Max's intentions weren't genuine, adding that breaking off the engagement was not an easy decision. This feeling was further confirmed for Lovato after fans resurfaced an old social media comment he left for Selena Gomez that said, marry me now, and another one to Ariana Grande calling her my wife. Lovato responded at the time by calling the comments fake. However, a source said that soon after she began to believe that Max was just trying to further his career by using her name behind her back. And following their breakup in September of 2020, a source told E! News that Demi wanted nothing to do with Max going forward. Demi is completely done and doesn't want to see him again at this point, the sources said at the time. She can't believe she fell into his trap and is really upset over it. Now, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this whole situation and how many people are calling Max out for owning that account and actually making all those posts and captions and saying that it really was him. Do you guys think that's true or do you think Max coming forward and saying that it wasn't him was him being honest and genuine? What do you think in this situation? definitely let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully none of this has affected Demi Lovato and hopefully she hasn't seen any of this because this would probably be very very scary for her knowing that her ex could possibly be still obsessed with her and making all these different posts about her and still posting them together because that would just be insane. But again let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and as always I'll see y'all in the next video.